We all know the story of King Arthur and the sword Excalibur. In some versions, he pulled the sword out of the stone and with it he became worthy of ruling Britain. In other versions, he got the sword from the Lady of the Lake. So many years ago, I got my own Excalibur. This one. And today, we are going to talk to my personal Merlin, the guy who gave me this guitar. Alright, so Irv, can you tell us how this guitar came about? Ano ba yung, ano ba yung proper model name? Yung RJ Raven pa rin ba to? This is the RJ Raven. Okay. Um, the first one that I played. So, nagpe-prepare kami nun for the RJ Guitar Night, the first one. Music Museum. Music Museum. Yun yung, oh, yun yung uh, pinapalabas sa <laughs> channel sa RJ TV <laughs> ngayon. Uh, kasama sila Bosio, sila Harry Vitali, uh, Don D. Uh, so, um, nung pre-prod meeting, uh, pinapunta ako dun para to check out the guitars. They were launching a, a new line of RJ guitars. Um, tapos, yun, tapos nakatila dun dun. Tapos, uh, ito, yung, ito yung unang shape na pinili ko, the RJ Raven. Nung nakuha ko to, this had a maple neck. Yung sa RJ na video, it had a maple neck. So that was yes. all stock. That was right. all stock. Even the even the pickups. Tapos ito yung, dito ako sa model na to nag-gravitate. I think at that point, medyo anti-wami anti bar ako doon. <laughs> so <laughs> naghihanap ako ng, 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 ng hardtail. Also, uh, at the time then, I believe that Unless you have a properly set up Floyd Rose, walang silbi yung ibang klasing wami bar. Kasi nawa, mawawala sa tono. For my playing, anyway. So, ito yung napili ko hard play. So, this was the exact body of that I played that night. Ito yung body. And this body was made of? I'm not sure what it's made of. Some kind of Philippine wood. Uh, mukhang, mukhang lawaan. Or some kind of mahogany. Mm -hmm. Tapos, later on, um, inadapt ko na siya as my main guitar. So I kept the, uh, I kept the RJ logo, and, uh, just so people know that it, I'm playing an RJ guitar. And then, um, pinapalitan ko yung neck. Nag, uh, nag, Nagpa-custom ako ng neck. So yeah, let, let, let's get to that neck. No? Parang kasi yeah. people have been talking about this. Guitar freaks have, have known about the legend of this guitar neck. So can you tell <laughs> us about it? Okay, so, um, umuwi ako Mindanao sa, sa, sa probinsya, sa place ng parents ko. And then, merong mga kahoy dun. Uh, and, and this wood is called magkuno, an iron wood. Mm -hmm. So, sa so sobrang tigas daw ng kahoy na to, um, hindi siya tinatabla ng pako. Ang pako niya is yung kahoy din niya mismo. So, pag nakakita ka ng kabin na tagawa ng magkuno, Ang, ang pins niya magkuno din. So yung mga furniture like like yung mga tables, yeah, chairs, yeah, yeah. walang walang hindi walang pako 'yun. So ang pins niya is made from the same wood. So nag-uwi ako noon ng isang rough lumber, troso na ganun. Tapos dinala ko sa RJ, sabi ko, itong gusto kong gawing neck. Tapos medyo <laughs> tas medyo kapalan niya yung profile ng konte. One piece neck, pero gusto ko may binding kasi may binding itong kita. May binding yung katawan eh. Uh -huh. So, yan. So, ginawa nila ng binding lahat. And then, this is uh, a variation of my headstock. Kasi yung, yung headstock design ko, may ganito. Kaya lang, yung mga nauna, mas, mat mas matalas. Parang tuka. Uh -huh. Parang siyang beak. Pero for, for this guitar, original headstock niya matulis din eh. Right. Sabi ko, eh, bilog yung katawan eh. So, hindi bagay na matulis yung headstock. So, you know, parang minodify ko to. Um, pinalitan na rin ng Goto tuners. These are Gotos. Um, this might have been stock. I, I, I don't remember. 22 frets. Sabi ko, jumbo. Um, One-piece neck dapat. Um, although, it looks like two-piece yun. Uh, ginawa din nila yung fretwork from the same wood. 
ang urban legend nito is when when I received this guitar, itinugtog ko na. Ah, solid ng neck, uh, mabigat. Uh, yung yung sustain niya mas mas uh, mas naging resonant yung gitara. Tsaka yung, yung sustain niya lumakas. <laughs> sabi nung sabi nung head yung yung head foreman nila doon ng luthier nila. Eh nang gitara mo. Ayoko na makita yung kahoy na yan. <laughs> Bakit daw? <laughs> Dahil sa sobrang tigas, naputol daw yung isang banso nila na maliit, which is yung pinapang-shape nilang neck. So they had to use the banso na mas malaki. Mm. To just to cut it to shape. Tapos noon from there by hand na. So I can only imagine like being encountering such a tough wood yeah. to, to shape it. But they, they did a really good job. And and this was this was my number one guitar. Uh, late 90s. So from 90... I want to say 95, 96, up until 98. You know, ito, yung main, ito yung main guitar ko nun. Um, the pickups, I also changed the pickups. Um, these came out of the Les Paul that used to be owned by Carlos Sison of Hard, Hardware Syndrome. Oh, okay. And that Les Paul was... Uh, uh, Westminster well, Les Paul, and that's the guitar I used for Kaleidoscope World. That's the guitar I used to record Kaleidoscope World with. Not these pickups, though. Oh, okay. Right, Galing right. sa gitarang yun. Oh. Yung gitarang yung kinabita ni Carlo ng EMG and one other pickup sa neck pickup na may coil splits. So sa Kaleidoscope, naka-coil split yun. Oh, okay. Uh, and then these pickups, hiningi, hiningi ko sa kanya kasi hindi naman niya ginagamitin. So these are Japanese pickups. And I just had these lying around. Um, sabi ko, ah, gusto ko yung gusto ko yung itsura ng covered covered humbuckers. So pinalagay ko dito. Mm. So yeah, ito yung ito yung naging um, yeah this uh, ito yung naging like the instrument ko during my uh, when I was working with RJ. Tapos after this, nagcommission ako ng custom made Raven. Yung night and day raven, uh, tinatawag. Uh, yun naman, may dual yung fretboard nun, naka-diagonal. Rosewood on the bottom, uh-huh. and then maple on top. With the idea being na, uh, ah, maple is bright, rosewood is warm, so, hindi naman totoo yan. <laughs> Pero it, lo- it looked cool. Tapos naka, yun nakawami bar na yan, naka-Wilkinson. Naka-Wilkinson. And then, that one also had overwound jazz master style pickups na na wind ng RJ. So that one I used for Love for Life to record Love for Life with okay. Francis. Yeah. Now so, I'm curious yung... about your holes. Eh. I'm curious about okay. the holes. Steven. So the holes so when this was when this became my second guitar the holes are for the Roland GK2 pickup. Because for a while, while playing with Triaxis, um, gumamit ako ng GR1, guitar synth. Roland okay. guitar synth. So, yan. Imbis na itape ko yung pick, uh, minount ko siya ng nakascrew. So, kaya, kaya meron yan dyan. So, this, this, this also became my synth guitar. If I recall correctly, ginamit ko sa recording ng Triaxis some of the synth parts. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. And then... Sa second Triaxis album, ano ba pinagamit ako nito? Uh, hintay ka lang, definitely. Uh, asa ka pa. You know, uh-huh. mo, the bulk of the bulk of the, yeah. the Who We Are album. Gamit ko to. So, yeah. Yun, yun, ang, yun ang history niya. And then, when I left for the States, um, I couldn't bring all my guitars. And besides, I, I didn't want to bring my guitars only for them to be destroyed there. That's by humidity, by climate. So I found homes for them here. And I made sure na um, every time I come back, I get to see them, you know, I get to see them and visit and play. Although this time it's, it's good to play because pinalita ni Aids yung strings. Do you know where you went to Pinapunta mo lang ako sa studio nun eh. Uh-huh. Para pinapunta niya ako sa studio. Ay, punta ka dito, ganyan. Sabi ko, bakit? Basta, ganyan. Because um, when I was with the Purple Chickens, we recorded our first album in Perf's studio in Sukat. So anyway, so one afternoon, punta ka dito, ganyan. Bilig ang gitara ko, ganyan. I'm like, eh, 
I'm not sure. Parang hindi yata ano sa akin. Ganun. But anyway, pumunta pa rin ako. Hmm. And then, pagdating ko sa studio, binoodle. <laughs> Sabi ko, AIDS, <laughs> AIDS, uh, try mo nga itong gitara ito. Gusto mo ba yan? Yes. Uh, Sabi niya, oh, tapos nagustahin niya. May 5,000 ka. <laughs> so, pwede ba natin sa million? So, he sold it to me for only 5,000 oh, pesos. 5,000? But with the rule na hindi ko na pwedeng ibenta kahit kanino pa. Yeah. Or else, ano pa mangyari? Kung binenta ko yan, ano gagawin mo sa akin? Uh, ewan ko. <laughs> Cancelled. Cancelled. <laughs> so, ayun. Um, so far, it looks like it's good shape. I mean, the thing is... It, May, may gumalaw yung kahoy sa neck dito. But that's expected because it's... Itch. We're in the Philippines, it's it's humid. Yeah. Mga lamesa nga eh. <laughs> Nagkakrak din eh. Yeah, that's so true. So it's... It's, uh, it's expected. Pero it still plays well. And... Ang ganda pa rin yung tunog. Yeah, that's the bridge pickup. Uh, parang ginawa itong pickups ito para sa gitara nito eh. I mean, I remember the first time I installed these, parang parang lumak, parang nabuhay siya when when I installed these pickups. I'm curious ako sa ano, dun sa yung, yung specs ng measurements and all that. Kasi, I remember na parang yung, yung my, my typical problem with a lot of guitars is that the necks tend to be too thick and my fingers aren't exactly that long. And one thing that we realized when I was having guitar lessons with you, hindi nagkakalayo yung sizes and daliri namin. <laughs> yeah. Um, I wanted a flat fretboard radius kasi Para, para wala kang kalaban pag nagbe-bend ka. And then, when, of course, it's a faster feeling neck. The neck profile is more of a D-shape para, para kasha siya dito sa crook ng daliri ko. Kasi dati, at that time, yung Ibanez na, yung the thin neck Ibanez, talaga mali, maliit na maliit yun. Right. And right, I, right. I, didn't, I didn't really, uh. um, at the time, I didn't care for it. So, hinab talagang hinabol ko na mas pag hinawakan ko siya, may meron kang hinahawakan. Hindi yung hindi yung parang para siyang maliit na chopstick. <laughs> Excessive man chopstick. But yeah, um that's that's the other thing. Tapos um they also had to make this thin enough para gumana yung truss rod. <laughs> Kasi otherwise Hindi kaya ng hindi kaya ng truss rod pagalawin yung kahoy because it's ironwood because it's ironwood what? and then I, I i wanted big frets so these are jumbo yeah. 61 6105 dunlops or whatever one thing that i like about this guitar well sige let's criticism muna before like mm. yung naging problem ko dito when i started using this guitar was it tended Ironwood eh. So, mabigat. Gumagano. Mabigat yung neck, oh. So, syempre, on stage, minsan, grang, tapos gaganoon ka. So, lumulod yung neck, tapos, mm. or bumababa. Nagtitilt yung guitar, so parang ang awkward. Yeah, yeah. So, then, then, mal maliit yung katawan eh. Yes. Yes. Uh, so, like, I mean, for this to be balanced, this should be like, here. Right, right. Although, hindi naman. Okay lang naman. But, ang nakita kong perfect use niya was, for it uh, was for it to be a regular recording guitar for me. Okay. Kasi parang um you madali siyang madali siyang makausap or madali siyang um, you can easily bring stuff out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Which it'll, I noticed it'll, it'll give you what you need. Yes, exactly. And um so every time I needed to be very physical with my playing or recording like uh, when I recorded Relentless, yung chug 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 guitar doon, it was recorded via this RJ Raven, mm. Raven guitar. Raven. Raven. RJ Raven <laughs> guitar. Kasi yun nga, ang sarap eh. Ang sarap mag-shred dito. Ang sarap, <laughs> ang sarap abusuhin. Tapos, ironwood naman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it can take the abuse. It's abuse, pero relaxed yung movement. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
And I noticed that with a lot of your own guitars, even until now. Parang when 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 I play your guitars, ease of movement. Hmm? So, what's with that mindset? Ideally, you want the instrument to be part of you. So you want the instrument to be uh, an organic part of your being, basically. So, pag tumutugtug ka, um, hindi mo na iniisip yung gitara. Di ba? Iniisip mo lang kung ano yung tututugin mo, what notes, how, how, how should I make this sound, how should I make other people feel when I'm playing. Di ba? And if... And and that's a lot of things to wor to to worry about to think about. Yeah. Tapos dadagdag mo pa na ah pag binend kito mo aabot ba or bungawala ba to sa tono or uh, ah hindi ko pwedeng hindi ko pwedeng masarol lakasan yung strum ko dahil ma dal may mga yare. You know, kung dadagdag mo pa yon, then hindi na <laughs> hindi ka na tumutugtog, di ba? You're just babying this. What I've always looked for in guitars is reliability and um, a connection to the point where I don't have to worry. Uh, oh, uh, a connection and confidence in it to the point na uh, hindi ko kailangan isipin yun. Alam mo I can bend. I can, I can, I can do the, the, the full whammy bar pull and hindi mo wala sa tono and, you know, and I'll be able to, to play the whole thing. Um, I can. I want to be able to hit the guitar in a particular way. I want it to be responsive. Now, if I want to play tenderly, right? Or yeah, you know, the, that stuff. Because um, when when you're confident in your instrument, when you're confident in your tools, then then you can make art. And there will be guitars who will not give you what you want. Tira, tang tanggapin ko na lang yan. Regardless kahit gano'ng kaganda yung gitara, gano'ng kamahal, or whatever special materials ang ginamit, kung hindi ko siya kasundo, eh, <laughs> wala. Hindi, hindi pwede yun. Right, right. But then even if I get a really cheap guitar that I identify with, that I, that I bond with, that I'm confident in, eh di, you know, it doesn't matter where it came from or who made it. Yun. Tapos, Ito nga pala, I, I forgot to mention this. Um, during the 90s, um, one of my personal, not, not vision, but one of my, one of the things that were important to me was playing Filipino-made instruments. Yeah. That's why, I mean, when I was young, I had the Ibanez, I had the seven string, I had uh, ano I don't know, I had the Strat, I had the Fenders and all that. But all my main instruments were Filipino made guitars, like uh, the Umitec mm -hmm. and then the Baswell guitar, uh, the brown one, so Triaxis then. And then this one, RJ, that's why I, did, I didn't, I didn't. Uh, I, that's why I made sure that people knew that I was playing an RJ guitar and that this was uh, that this was uh, made here. Um, yung kahoy galing sa galing sa home sa province ko sa hometown ko so there's there's that connection there then. Um, yung and then the next one the, the next RJ was uh, again built dito. I actually had a talk with the guys building it, so so nandun mm -hmm. the connection. And then later on, ando na yung si, kwan, yung Mike Sis, yung replica nung green na my tech guitar. Mike Sis, and then every time there's a, like a Filipino, Filipino guitar maker, I, I make sure to, you know, um, I, I, I try my best to help out and, 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 and lift them up. Yeah. Pero, as long as they meet my requirements. Siyempre, it's not like basta pinoy ka gagawa ka ng gitara at tutuwi ko yan. I will I, I will at least try it. And if it, if I connect then I will use it. Yan. So yun yung iisa sa mga that's one of the things that drove me then. Mm -hmm. And now. And lastly, okay. The guitar obviously is or has been with me for the past 20 years, mm -hmm. no? 20 years, or almost 20 years. Going on 20 years, yes. Going on 20 years. 
Well, I'm, I'm still going to continue using that. No? Mm -hmm. But what advice can you give me as to how to continue taking care of it? Itong crack na to, this is from uh, the wood losing moisture. Mm -hmm. So just make sure that it's always conditioned. Yeah. You know, pwede mo daling kila mic later on pa tag dito. Ipa, i, ipa burnish mo yung finish and then just, mm. you know, um, kargahan nila, I condition with oil. You know, yeah. uh, the body, you don't really have to do anything. I mean, the hardware, that's already naturally relic, you know. Oh, I, I, uh, I, like, the, I like the age. Mm, yeah, so, I mean, at, at this point, you got to show the, the age of the guitar. It, it, ha it, it shouldn't, even if you take care of it, it shouldn't look like new. It right. should. It should. It should show its age and its journey. Diba yan, yung mga yung mga bingot na yan, belt buckle rash. Ay, hindi ko hinampas sa symbols to. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe burnish the frets. You'll need to. You'll need to polish the frets. Mm -hmm. Meron ng bagong pang polish ng frets si Popoy, so you can take care of that easily. Then, <laughs> ito, ito. I, Tuwid, tuwid ba itong isa? <laughs> sabi, sabi ng isang tuner. Uh, yeah, and then this one. Just, uh, tag dito. Delikado yan. Yeah. So you gotta, you gotta just fill the hole and, uh, you know, uh, refresh the, the, the contact screw, contact of the screw. Then other than that, I mean, it still, still sounds good. It plays good. Binaba ko yung action kanina. Okay. It's like an old friend. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks, Perf. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, my pleasure. And th and, uh, Thanks for taking care of taking care of this. <laughs> and I hope see it every time I come home. Of course, of course. <laughs> okay.